Well, the Bulls back at home after a six-game split with the Gwinnett Stripers. Homestand begins Tuesday afternoon as the Bulls welcome in the Nashville South. This is Patrick Keenis, broadcaster for the Bulls. We welcome you to another edition of Durham Bulls Daily, which is where our Bulls fans know to go the morning after every Bulls game for highlights, news, recaps, and a whole lot more. You can download this. Please subscribe, and you'll get notifications when these new episodes drop. Subscribe on Apple, on Spotify, and you can actually watch these little mini pods on our YouTube channel, Durham Bulls TV. Well, interesting, entertaining afternoon game at the DBAP on Tuesday. Nashville winds up beating the Bulls by a 9-8 score. The Bulls spotted Nashville a 4-0 lead, four runs in the second inning off of Bulls starter Mason Montgomery, but he locked down Nashville after that and works a season matching six innings of work. Durham was able to tie things up against Aaron Ashby in the bottom of the third inning, all with two outs. Bulls were trailing 4-0. They put two runners on on a single by Junior Caminero, a base hit by Jonathan Arana, and that would bring up Ruben Cardenas and then Yu Chang, who went back-to-back to tie the game. Swing by Cardenas, fly ball, left center, hit well. Young back, near the track, he's by the monster, and this one is gone! Three-run shot for Cardenas with two outs. And the Bulls within a run on number six from Ruben. Deep ball by Chang, down the left field side. This is toward the ball, and it's tied. Chang's eating steak for dinner. Off the ball, straight away left. And the Bulls have drawn even 4-4. That would make it a 4-4 a game. The Bulls would then go ahead with a couple of runs in the bottom of the sixth inning. Jonathan Arana, RBI base hit, and a single by Rene Pinso. That would bring Aranda in. The Bulls went up 6-4. Nashville got a run back in the seventh inning, but it remains 6-5 Bulls with two outs and two strikes and a runner on in the Nashville ninth inning. When Brewer Hicklin came up, he had already homered once in the game, facing Justin Sterner with the sounds down to their final strike. Fans to their feet, two outs, two strikes. The pitch from Sterner, fly ball, hit deep left field, Uh uh-oh. And the Sounds have the lead. Brewer Hicklin on a two-strike, two-out pitch from Sterner. Took it off the third story of Diamond View 2. That would be Hicklin's second home run of the game. It capped off a four RBI contest for him, and that would give Nashville a 7-6 lead. But the Bulls were not done. In the bottom of the ninth inning, Rene Pinto, who was just optioned down by the Rays over the weekend, came up to lead off the bottom of the ninth for the Bulls, looking for a little drama on their own. 1-1 on Pinto. And a line shot left center field. This is to the monster, and it's gone! Pinto ties it up on the third pitch of the bottom of the ninth. 108 off the bat. We got all day, why not play on? The sounds and the Bulls exchange ninth inning home runs and there is the drama for Durham. 7-7 in the bottom of the ninth. Pinto home run would make it 7-7 and we soldiered on two extra innings. The sounds though scored a couple of times in the 10th against Justin Sterner. The Bulls got one back on a Cardenas single in the bottom of the 10th, but Yu Chang struck out to end the game, a 9-8 Nashville win in 10 innings over the Bulls. Mace Montgomery threw very well for the Bulls. Just the one rough inning in the second, but otherwise four runs over six innings of work, strikes out six, no decision. Sterner takes the loss in relief for the Bulls, gives up four runs, three earned in two innings of work. Jonathan Arana continuing his major league rehab was four out of five with a walk. Very good sign for Arana. Scores twice, drives in one. Meanwhile, Brandon Lau and Pete Fairbanks both assigned to the Bulls on Major League Rehabs. Lau played the first five innings at second base. He was one for two with a double off of the monster. Fairbanks threw one inning, came in for the eighth, allowed two hits, struck out one, no runs, and got a very impressive 4-6-3 double play to end the inning by the Bulls' middle infielders. So the Bulls dropped the opener of the six-game homestand in Nashville, 9-8. Durham Falls to 13-21. and and we'll take on the sounds in game two of the series, 635 from the DBAP on Wednesday night. So again, a reminder, subscribe on Apple and on Spotify, and you can watch these mini pods of Durham Bulls Daily at Durham Bulls TV on YouTube. Once again, Nashville wins the opener in front of 8,117 paid fans. Bulls fall in 10 innings, 9-8 to Nashville. I'm Patrick Kinas for Durham Bulls Daily.